The hardest part about documenting the decline of abandoned buildings is having to see them go. While it's understandable why they must be demolished, the unfortunate part is we will never be able to cover all of them. In the year 2022, we watched five abandoned buildings be covered, be torn down. Teetering the line between 2021 and 2022, demolition on the 1881 Union Church commenced in early January. The church debuted the Where We Once Stood series with the tale of the Colments. Our attention was first captivated when we found an excavator parked on the property. After its appearance, the building was quickly gone. I routinely drove past the building on my way to Huntington. The empty lot, now replaced by farmland, always draws my attention. While to most, it's another portion of land, to me, it was my first example of where we once stood. The Manchester University Administration Building was never on my radar until demolition had already commenced. Through my time talking to residents, I've come to understand how important it was. I spoke to one student who remembers playing in the building when their grandfather was a professor. Numerous old timers speak about the building fondly, recalling classes or stories in its brick walls. Due to a lack of preservation and funds being directed to new projects, the university's most iconic structure is now a misfitting vacant plot of land. During my drives to Warsaw, I found my eyes glancing at a large brick structure in Silver Lake, Indiana. When I noticed a fence around the Silver Lake Elementary School, my curiosity soared. Like the admin building, many alumni were enraged to see the structure torn down. Another example of a building being forgotten until it's too late to save it. The Silver Lake community plans on constructing a new community center but as of now, no progress has been made. Sometimes structures are torn down before we're able to cover them. An example comes from what we've dubbed Pearson Chuck Repair. We visited this decrepit structure on our way to visit the 1953 Kinsey Building back in July. Due to school, other projects, and just living life, we hadn't gotten the chance to revisit the property. Unfortunately, when we returned, the building had been reduced to nothing. Gone and raised. Only a few months after we posted about it. The Orno Corporation was one of my favorite buildings and one of my favorite stories. Whether it be interacting with cops after they found us walking the property's perimeter, or watching the building slowly turn to rubble. The Orno Corporation is why we do what we do. A historic building that had been neglected and turned into an eyesore, had its story told and shown before being torn down and revitalized as affordable housing. While it's sad to see these structures go, as long as we can record their history and give them their final act, we'll be happy. As long as there are stories to be told, we'll be there to stand where we once stood. <laughs>